did it. You prefer me. Horizontal? In a grave? All right, folks. So Lady Death has officially entered the MCU chat, thanks to the jaw-dropping episode seven of Agatha All Along. After weeks of wild speculation, I bet you're all feeling pretty satisfied with this reveal, right? But here's the real question. Are you ready to just accept Lady Death as a side character? Because I don't think that's going to be the case. Surprise. The incredible Aubrey Plaza is set to shake things up in the MCU, and I believe we're about to see a lot more of her in upcoming projects. And hey, if you're a fan of Aubrey, then get ready. She's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, let's put the debate about Lady Death and Green Witch to rest for a moment, because there's something way more intriguing to dive into. In the MCU, Lady Death isn't just about destruction, she's about that twin flame vibe between life and death. Feels like there's a story there. Whoa, yes, you heard that right. It looks like there's a major twist coming for Rio Vidal in the Agatha All Along finale. Birth, could she be the one to resurrect some characters, maybe even the whole coven? Or what yeah. if she brings Wanda back to life? Okay, you I know, we're starting to get wild with the theories here, but that's what makes it exciting. So let's break down all the crazy possibilities that might unfold in episodes eight and nine, or even in future MCU projects. But before we dive deeper, if you're just stumbling upon my channel, welcome. Here at Cinemamu, we cover all things MCU and superheroes. If that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the fun and fresh updates coming your way. All right, if you're already on board, let's keep this conversation rolling. I'm not just tossing around the term twin flame for kicks here, folks. This concept actually comes from Jack Schaefer herself during an interview with Screen Rant. She made it clear that Lady Death isn't just about destruction. She's about the deeper idea of twin flames, essentially the cycle of birth and death. It's like this natural rhythm of life, where growth and decay go hand in hand. When this I heard that, I was like, drama. wow, instead of getting just the green witch who brings life or a Lady Death who's all about claiming souls, Marvel Studios is giving us a blend of both in the character of Rio Vidal. This means your theories from before, they were both right. Whether you saw Rio as Lady Death or as the Green Witch, you nailed it. And I have to say, I'm really excited about this twist. Lady Death in the MCU is shaping up to be way more interesting, maybe even more than her comic book version. Rio isn't just some straightforward character anymore. She's got layers. She's unique and definitely carries a sense of mystery that makes her intriguing. You know, I've mentioned in previous videos that Lady Death has been hanging around the MCU for quite a while now. Remember back in 2012, when Thanos casually mentioned her in The Avengers? Back then, Marvel Studios wasn't ready to dive into the full Thanos story from the comics, so they didn't flesh out Lady Death's role. It was a little tease, but that was it. In the comics, Thanos has this complicated relationship with Lady Death. He's completely infatuated with her, but she pretty much doesn't give him the time of day. This obsession leads him to wipe out half of the universe, thinking it would impress her and win her love. Honestly, I'm kind of glad Marvel didn't take that route in the Infinity Saga. It would have made his motives feel pretty shallow and, well, a bit cliche. Now, even though Lady Death was hinted at during the Infinity Saga, bringing her into the MCU in a significant way hasn't been easy. Marvel Studios probably struggled to find the right fit for her in earlier projects. But then Agatha all along came along and everything clicked. This is where Jack Schaefer really stepped up she found a natural way to introduce Lady Death into the story. With the focus on witches and powerful female characters in Agatha all along, it created the perfect backdrop for Lady Death to emerge and take her place in the MCU. I mean, think about it. We're not just getting a one-dimensional character here, we're getting a rich narrative that ties into the themes of life, death, and everything in between. Lady Death is going to bring a whole new level of complexity to the MCU, and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. So what sets Lady Death in the comics apart from her MCU counterpart? First off, I have to say the MCU's version is stunning. I mean, with Aubrey Plaza bringing this character to life, it's hard not to notice her captivating presence, right? You guys have to agree, Aubrey's beauty definitely shines through, even when Lady Death is being all cosmic and powerful. Now, let's dive into the complexity of Rio Vidal as Lady Death and the Green Witch all rolled into one. Just think about it. On one hand, as Lady Death, she's this cosmic entity, 
the very embodiment of death itself. But on the flip side, as the Green Witch, she wields incredible magical powers and has access to witchcraft. One of her most mind-blowing abilities is the potential to bring back the dead. Now, this isn't something that green witches do every day, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see Rio pulling off something like this in the MCU. It's pretty fitting to refer to Rio Vidal as a twin flame. She's got this dual nature that's both lethal and life-giving. How cool is that? What's important to remember is that Aubrey Plaza's Lady Death is a character specifically crafted for the MCU, particularly for Agatha all along. Jack Schaefer has a knack for creating surprises in her projects, and I have no doubt that Rio Vidal is set up for a big twist down the line. Now, speaking of surprises, surprise. what kind of shocker are you hoping to see in the MCU right now? Maybe you want to see Wanda Maximoff make a grand return. Well, you know what? Rio could totally be the key to that. Just because I say she could bring Wanda back doesn't mean she definitely will. We're still left wondering if Wanda's really dead or if she's out there somewhere, right? Let's take a moment to reflect on what Agatha said when Billy asked her about the Scarlet Witch. Remember that scene in episode seven? Agatha hinted that Wanda might still be alive. You could see it in Agatha's expression. She believes Wanda is out there. The catch? Agatha's magic has been weakening, especially after getting trapped in that chaotic illusion for three years after facing off with the Scarlet Witch. So. Who else could Rio bring back to life? Honestly, it's not hard to guess. We have three witches from Agatha's coven who met their end on Witch's Road. Mrs. Hart, Alice Wu, and Lilia Calderu. It wouldn't be a stretch to think that Rio could resurrect any of them in the series finale. I really believe that Rio Vidal will bring someone back from the dead. If she doesn't, then that whole fusion of Lady Death and the Green Witch feels a bit pointless, right? Plus, Jack Schaefer's earlier statements about her character would lose their weight. But let's keep in mind that as the Green Witch, Rio can't just resurrect anyone without a serious reason behind it. It goes against the natural laws. After all, there has to be a significant motivation for such an action, which only adds to the excitement. The last two episodes of Agatha All Along need to be intense, especially for Rio to step into her true role. I can't wait to see how everything unfolds in the upcoming episodes. Now, let's talk about Aubrey Plaza's future in the MCU. I think both Jack Schaefer and all of us are hoping to see more of her in upcoming projects. This bad girl from Agatha All Along is definitely set for a bright future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And speaking of bad girls, Agatha herself referred to Rio Vidal as her bad boy, which refers to the relationship between the two of them. But here's a question. Do you think Rio Vidal will emerge as a villain in the season finale? Honestly, I don't think so. From what we've seen so far, and considering her close relationship with Agatha, she feels more like an anti-hero, who's not really interested in the petty squabbles of the Coven members. That said, the last two episodes are bound to stir up some conflict between Rio and the rest of the Coven. If Rio isn't the villain, then who will step up as the antagonist for the final showdown of Agatha all along? Here's a thought. What if there's no villain at all? I mean, I love all the characters we've got. But the clues from episode 7 suggest something different might be happening. Now, could Billy, also known as Wiccan, turn out to be a threat to the coven? Let's consider Lilia, who Agatha referred to as the Honest One. Remember at the end of episode 7 when she closed the tower door to protect the coven? Before she did, Lilia delivered a crucial message, especially aimed at Agatha. Even though Agatha seemed to miss the point, we heard Lilia say something like, When she when calls, she calls you, you a coward, coward hit, hit the, the deck. deck. What? What does that message mean? If this is related to who they'll face in the finale, it might just be a key hint for us. Agatha isn't exactly the scary type, given that Lilia was the one delivering that warning. So could Billy be the one posing of her threat to the coven? He certainly has the potential to cause chaos, but I'm pretty sure he's not the she that Lilia's warning Agatha about. <gasps> and as for Rio, it's unlikely she'll be the villain, especially since she has her own journey to embark on as both Lady Death and the Green Witch in these last two episodes. So who could it be? I'm not entirely sure. But the clues suggest that it has to be a powerful woman, someone who could make Lilia feel the need to warn Agatha to step back in the face of that threat. Now it's your turn to play detective. Who do you think could be the big bad in the finale? Drop your guesses in the comments below because I'm really curious to see what you all think.
Oh, and by the way, I'm planning a special video to dive deep into all the hints Lilia Caldru has left for the final two episodes. I hope to have that video ready for you by tomorrow or the day after. I really want you all to join in the discussion when it drops. Now, here's an important note for everyone. What I'm sharing here is just a theory. You know what that means, right? There's no guarantee that any of this will actually happen in the finale. We're just piecing things together based on the clues we've seen so far. So while our guesses might hit the mark, they could also miss. No need to worry about that. What I'm really interested in is hearing your theories. Please drop your thoughts in the comments, whether it's about Lady Death, Agatha, Billy, or any of the other Coven members. I want to know what you think. Feel free to share any MCU info you've got too. I love hearing from you. I appreciate all of you who've stuck around to watch this far, especially since you've been with me through these past few weeks on this channel. You're such amazing friends. As Agatha all along builds up to its climax, I hope you've subscribed to the channel so we can keep the discussions going in future Cinemamu videos. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.